Obsessive Compulsive Disorder is a complex psychological condition. It causes patients to have uncontrollable recurring thoughts and behaviors and the urge to repeat actions over and over. Studies show one in 50 adults in the United States suffer from OCD. The condition is difficult to treat and can have a major life-changing effect on the patient and their families. Joining me now is the vice president of OCD Jacksonville, Kim Vincenti, along with the owner of MVM Consulting Services, Mike Vatter. Welcome, thank you both for coming in on this Saturday morning. I was talking with my producers before the show and oftentimes you hear people say, oh, that's my OCD kicking in. Mm -hmm. And I feel as a society, we tend to generalize complications, things by saying that, which is inappropriate. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, um, it's a disorder. It's not a preference. Yeah. I mean, we might like things neat and tidy or clean, but it, it's, it's not what the disorder does. The disorder stops your life. This, of course, can be insulting to those who live Absolutely. with it. Absolutely. Live with the torment. As I love that. Live with the torment. This is very serious, very hard to diagnose, like we were saying, or difficult at times to diagnose. More than difficulty diagnosing is um, finding the right kind of treatment. The gold standard for treating OCD is a treatment modality called ERP. It's a form of cognitive behavioral therapy. And unfortunately, there are very few practitioners adequately trained in ERP. How many people here throughout Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia, and the region do we have living with this? Um, it's guesstimated 1 to 3 percent. So we can say, you know, pretty confidently that there's 20,000 people in Northeast Florida alone. You know, Jackson, the greater Jacksonville area. From mild to very serious. Absolutely. In between. Yeah, when I was diagnosed um, in my 30s, um, mid to late 30s, um, I didn't know anyone who had been diagnosed with OCD before. Um, I'm, I Statistically, I did, but I didn't know anyone who was kind of out with their OCD. Um, so to me, it's been very important to let people know that I have it and, you know, what the stigmas are and kind of erase those stigmas and do, do what I can and do what we can as OCD Jacksonville to kind of let people know it's not a decision, it is a disorder. You know, it's not just being like Kim said, not just being tidy, not just organizing your silverware drawer a certain way or your desk a certain way. It's, you know, you can't sometimes leave the house until things are a certain way. You know, you have to, some people have checking um, disorder where they have to, you know, check the lock a hundred mm -hmm. times before they leave or they pick at their skin like I do or they, um, you know, chew on the inside of their cheek when they get anxious and, you know, have recurring thoughts. Interesting. Do you recall the moments you were diagnosed? What led you to go to seek Medical uh, help? Actually, yes. I was, I was actually fortunate. I was working with a caseworker who was a uh, clinician and um, in a job that I had um, with a nonprofit, and she noticed some of the um, characteristics, some of the mm -hmm. symptoms. And we'd been driving uh, for a work-related event, and I had this image, this recurring thought that I'd run somebody over with the car that we were wow. in. And there was no, no reason to think that. There was, no, there was no evidence to suggest that anything had happened. But I had to drive that route about 45 minutes, I would say probably 15 times before she finally said, Mike, <laughs> there's, there's, no there's nothing, there's you're nothing. fine. Yeah, I just couldn't let go of that thought. And that's one of those intrusive reoccurring thoughts that we, that we get. That's amazing. And you both are here for awareness to let folks know there is a community. We have an event to talk Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Absolutely. an exciting event. On September 8th, we're having Dr. Jonathan Abramowitz um, come to UNF. Um, it's sponsored by the... Um, the Honor Society, and um, he is the professor of psychology and neuroscience at UNC Chapel Hill. He's um, a world expert in the field of OCD and related spectrum disorders, and um, he's coming to do a special workshop uh, for families because mm. how the families interact with the sufferer is almost as important as their individual treatment. It, yeah. The mm. psychoeducation for loved ones, the, the, the spouse, the, the mom, the dad, is incredibly important. And so this event is custom made for them. Love this. This is absolutely huge. For people wanting to get more information about this event, tickets, is it free? It's free, but you must register at OCD Jack's events 
uh, com, and this is made possible by our partnership with Natural Life. Um, they have created a line of products called Fearless um, that has enabled us to do wonderful events like this. And um, it's through the sale of these products that um, we're able to bring this free of charge. But again, you must make a reservation. Fearless will lead us forward. Thank you both, Kim and Mike, for coming in this morning. Exactly. Really appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much.